How's it going everyone? Jacob Rothenberg here. Going to present to you today, Kindle Publishing, yet another video on Keyword Foundations. Your step-by-step -step video tutorial on everything keyword related with Amazon. Um, I am a what's considered to be a full-time Kindle publisher. I actually quit my job a few weeks ago as a result of making enough money from Kindle Publishing to where I can have a full-time living sustained from my earnings through Kindle Publishing. And with that, I am considered in the community to be pretty good at keyword research. Um, so I am sharing this video with you today on niche and keyword research. If you're just starting out with Kindle Publishing, this is gonna be a huge help in understanding what you are needing to do for not just niche selection, niche selection is easy, but more so keyword research. Keyword research is arguably more important than the actual production and publication of your book. If you have the wrong keyword for as a result of having bad keyword research, nine times out of 10, no matter how well you execute a book, it just won't sell to its full potential. However, if you do your keyword research correctly and have a habit of consistently finding good keywords, more often than not, not always, but more often than not, you will produce profitable books. So onwards, without further ado. With choosing a keyword niche, well, first off, there are literally unlimited options for keywords. You could do a keyword search for water bottles. You could do a keyword research for water books. You could do a keyword research for noon tablets that are within the water of this water bottle. You could do a keyword term for the electrolytes that are used in a noon tablet within water within this water bottle. There are literally so many ideas and options you have for keywords. The opportunities you can come up with for keywords are literally unlimited. With that, there are many niches to choose from. And I actually took this from Amazon.com for the different genres and different niches you can publish for. Um, now, I am mostly, I think exclusively at this point, a nonfiction uh, publisher. So books on romance, books on fiction, are not going to be covered within my modules okay so we're going to focus on the other looks like here 80 maybe 90 percent of the categories you can see here and this is not all inclusive um so maybe you're looking for a book category on pets i don't really see a category on pets but you could definitely publish a book on pets even imaginary pets penguins dinosaurs whale sharks whatever you can fit it's your house <laughs> or whatever you you want to write about it can be done so onwards what is the purpose of keyword research let's get an understanding of what keyword research really is supposed to provide as outcomes for your work first you want to be able to get new ideas for keywords to publish books for so you can you know think of various things around you and you know or maybe ideas you already have in your head and just you know one by one methodically research each keyword and say hey this is cool or hey this is not cool and um, along with that as you're browsing through you might see other books other listings maybe advertise listings for other keywords around you and you'll start to get new ideas based on what you'll see and that can spawn off to potentially a profitable keyword Two, and this is really what most people focus on, is assessing the potential profitability of a keyword. So, you, and I'm going to explain right now, okay, how do you assess the potential profitability of a keyword? Well, with that, you want to look at current existing books, aka your future competitors, perhaps, for a keyword. Take a look at, the sales, at their sales rankings and deduce based on the sales rankings for either ebook, paperback, or even audiobook. Okay, are these books selling well? And if so, 
is this enough sales to justify the production of a book from my publishing? So why we do that is because if you're looking for a keyword that has existing competitors, you want to make sure that there's a track record of sales, that there are signs of life that customers are not only searching for a keyword, but they're also buying books for a given keyword. And starting out, what I would suggest is to look at the ebook ranking of a title and make sure that the best sellers ranking, aka the BSR, is under 100,000. And you want to make sure of this for the first six books that you see on Amazon for your keyword search. And usually it's in best practice that at least four out of six of those books are under 100,000. With paperback, it's slightly different. I would personally suggest under 350,000. It's a little bit subjective, but what you're essentially trying to do uh, at the core is to look for existing sales for a keyword you're looking at. And once you have perhaps decided that, okay, I've got this keyword, it sells really well, you now want to also assess and formulate a strategy on how to execute the publishing of a book that will beat competitors and sell. Reason being, okay, if you have a keyword that has you know great sales and everything looks bang on with you know being able to make a profit, now you have to consider too, not only is this keyword profitable, but how do I defeat, how do I outplay, how do I outsell the existing competitors of this book? How do I get more visibility? How do I differentiate? How do I make myself unique from everyone else out there for my keyword? And can I figure out what that will entail? What I need to do with the execution of my book when it's, I'm going through the publishing process to make that reality happen to where competitors are just dying in the dirt, customers are being pulled away from your competitors and instead they're going to you. So, at Essence, how to form, perform keyword research at the most basic core, what you're doing is you're simply typing in a keyword term into Amazon's search engine you're looking at existing books currently published again for your chosen keyword. From there, like I said, you assess the profitability and you assess your viability to compete with existing competition. Now, if you are going heads up against Tony Robbins, Donald Trump, um, or maybe you're writing a book about Mike Ty about um, boxing and maybe Mike Tyson has his couple autobiographies there. Um, those are things to consider, like, okay, are these authority figures going to outshadow me and take away sales from me? Am I going to be able to make sales at all with Martha Stewart currently in my keyword that I'm looking at? Uh, and if so, what can I do to differentiate myself from her if, if that's even possible? Or do I think that Martha Stewart's just going to get all the sales for this keyword and maybe I should move on? That's something that you need to assess and whether you publish or you move on, that's your final call. And now, if you have found a keyword that you really like and you think it is viable again for you to compete with existing competition, you find weaknesses within existing competitors books and look for opportunities to capitalize. I'll give a very practical example. Last year, my first smash hit for Amazon on Kindle Cell Publishing was simply a book on fidget spinner tricks. What I saw was that there were three existing books, maybe even just two existing books actually, for fidget spinner tricks. And they had like two star reviews, they had you know horrible track records of only featuring 20 tricks, um, the content was bad, but I noticed that the sales rankings were really, really good. So I said to myself, why don't I create uh, a new title that features double the amount of tricks with more in-depth step-by-step instructions, with better content, with more pages in my book. And once I do that, along with having a nice looking cover, publish that. And guess what? 
I did that, and not only did I make the $150 back that I spent on to produce the book within a week, the following month, I ended up selling 700 copies of this book, and I believe I grossed around $1,600 from one book alone. So again, all I did was follow these steps with keyword research. I typed in fidget spinner tricks. I looked at existing books currently published. I assessed the profitability based on the current sales rankings for existing books. I saw weaknesses within the existing competition. I looked for opportunities to capitalize based on content featured and I won the game. I won the game. It sounds very basic and in truth it really is. You have to understand the simplicity of this. But once you can internalize this and set it as your, I would say, mindset, your mentality on how to correctly perform keyword research, you will go a long way. Now, you're thinking to yourself, okay, Jacob, you got lucky ones with fidget spinner tricks, but okay, I know maybe you have other books you do well on, and I do. Where are you getting your keyword ideas? And so I've listed a few things that I think not only I use for keyword ideas, but everyone else or at least everyone else that I consider to be good in publishing. Like, here are some commonalities for keyword ideas. Number one, Google Trends. So if you haven't heard of Google Trends, it's an aggregate of all search volume conducted by users all over the world. And through that, it aggregates on its site on trends.google.com the most searched for topics, the most searched for keywords on Google from all over the world at a given time. And from there, you can get ideas like, oh, this is really hot right now, or oh, this is being newly released. Maybe there's something related to this new release that I can publish for that people want. And from there, it's just a great source to get keyword ideas. Number two, the news. Why? Because the news, more often than not, covers current events, you know, uh, current, you know, again, new releases just what's going on right now in the world that is capturing everyone's attention and taking advantage of that attention what is being also outputted onto Amazon by users and how can I take advantage of that attention along with that popular events maybe let's say electronic dance music is really popular right now and EDC is gonna come up right now it's not because it's already October but let's say EDC were coming up Okay, maybe because EDC is coming up in a month or two, you could come up with um, a book related to electronic dance music that you know people are thinking like, oh, maybe I need a guide for EDC, or maybe there's guides I can publish based on other events, or maybe people are interested in like the history of electronic dance music. Now take advantage of that too. Um, popular children's toys, this is huge. So, you know, whether you have a kid or not, um, you can just either ask maybe a coworker, a friend, you know, what what toys are really hot at their ch children's school right now? Uh, what are kids playing with? You know, what are they getting as gifts? You know, what's popular in Costco? What's popular in Target? I was going to say Toys R Us, but um, things aren't looking so good for them. <laughs> uh, what's popular in Walmart um, for children's toys? Like, do your research. You know, if you want to spend your time at Walmart um, looking at children's toys, now, that, that sounds a little weird, but if you just take 30 seconds to do it, just run in, look, maybe take a snapshot, run out, and that's cool. <laughs> um, along with that, and this is big, popular topics currently discussed on social media. So, you know, people are sheep. They will flock to what's currently hot, what's currently being discussed on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram especially. You know, figure out what's really popular and again take advantage of the attention that's being given to something and figure out okay based on this is there an idea I can take from this that could be that people could be searching for on Amazon and they would be willing to buy something related to this topic maybe let's say we have uh, another SpaceX spaceship launching soon by Elon Musk, okay? 
now everyone's gonna be talking about SpaceX. It's gonna it's gonna be going down. Everyone's watching live on YouTube, live on Facebook, the launch of the second SpaceX spaceship. Well, come up with ideas on maybe you want to publish about SpaceX SpaceX itself. Maybe you want to publish a book about spaceships. Maybe you want to publish a book on spaceship stories for kids. Maybe you want to have a coloring book published on spaceships. Like come up with these ideas. And again, go through the process of seeing what's profitable and what's viable. And, you know, I do this too. I look at other successful books on Amazon. I don't necessarily go to the top 100 rankings for a given um, category, but I'll see what's doing really well on Amazon. And sometimes I'll just, well, not sometimes, but on very occasion, maybe I'll think about copycatting <laughs> or spawning a different idea based on a successful book. So, like, Let's say, um, I'm not trying to look at games, but let's say that um, Donald Trump had uh, successful books on finance and business. Now, not that I would ever compete against Donald Trump um, with in regards to those books, but maybe there's something related to that uh, based on that success that I could figure out, okay, maybe there's something related to finance and business that's currently popular right now, like um, how to, why you should rent instead of buy your real estate or why, oh, or tiny houses or what do they call them? Yeah, tiny houses, the tiny house movement. Maybe I can write a book on that. And that's just, a, just an idea you might get from uh, Donald Trump's book on real estate. Okay, just be creative. And the last one, and this is, in truth, where I get my keyword ideas. Just be, again, be creative, use your imagination, just put keywords out there on the Amazon search term. There is no penalty for looking at anything weird to a certain extent. Like if you wanna look up um, how to diaper a dinosaur, like type it, see what happens, just type it. Or if you want to research how to rake leaves as fast as possible, type it in. So maybe there's a book out for it, maybe there isn't, but you know, just have fun, play around, see what you can come up with keyword ideas, as obscure as it might seem or sound. Oftentimes, those obscure keywords are the, one that will, the ones that will make you money. So, final note, and this is more so my opinion, but I think amongst us publishers who have experience and do well with publishing, we would agree on this, is as you're starting out as a beginner, don't rely at least exclusively on third-party tools to find and access keywords. Um, KDP Rocket has a great reputation for being a useful third-party tool. Now, this is just my opinion, take it for what it is, but as you're starting out, I don't want you to use KDP Rocket, at least not often, when you're initially looking at keywords and assessing them. I want you instead to learn how to research and assess keywords on Amazon.com itself, on the website, because what you'll miss out on just looking at an aggregate of books and their ranks and you know these little, uh, these little parameters and factors is that okay, you're not going to see uh, opportunities and possible weaknesses on other books that are being published on for you to capitalize on. How will a third-party aggregate? software show you that X book has a weird has a bad looking book cover or that X book has a subtitle that's not as differentiating as other titles or how will it tell you that you know the content itself is not very good other than maybe you know the fake reviews or the fake five star reviews so a book might have paid for how would you really know that the content is bad without other than just going on amazon.com researching clicking on preview and looking at the content and seeing that it's bad you wouldn't know otherwise so you want to be able to look at keywords on amazon.com right on there and research on the search engine and through the listings and final point the best publishers are either the best at keyword research or they hire someone skill that keyword research which i believe is the next level like it's really useful as a skill set to be good at keyword or even great at keyword research 
and this is very this is more of an advanced mindset but if you really really want to scale to making 10,000 a month 15,000 a month 20,000 a month and I'm not at this level yet to where I'm fully implementing this but you want to be able to hire someone skilled at keyword research based on everything that I've shown and taught you that can just scale this out for you and that's something I'm in the middle of working on myself I have um, a chief operating officer set but we're still in the preliminary stages but right now I'm good at keyword research and I'll be training this virtual assistant I have to be good at it as well and that's how I can scale so either way get great at this and you will do really well with Kindle publishing now if you like this lesson I want you to like this video below be sure to hit subscribe and leave a comment with a question I will be sure to answer you as soon as I can I love helping students out and I would love to help you personally so until then guys see you on the next lesson very well